So check this out before you go and buy the Sony tripod for the ZV-1 or the ZV-E10 or other Sony cameras. Take a look at this one. This is by Inky. It's called the Iron Bee and it has a lot of great features, but one major one that really makes it stand out. And since it's Thursday, let's do this in 30 seconds. Welcome to the channel, my name is Danny Black and I like to review cool products that come my way. And I was excited to get this one and review it because it's a great product and I feel like it deserves a little more attention. And the links to everything I'm talking about will be down in the description plus a surprise link. And if you are new here, consider hitting that button right there. That, that means a lot. And uh, there's a lot of really cool reviews coming up so you don't wanna miss those. All right, so when I bought the ZV-1, I also bought the Sony remote tripod that kind of pairs with it nicely. I wanted that full ZV-1 experience. However, I'm not really a big fan of this tripod. It's kind of bulky, it's kind of plasticky. Oops, I forgot to start the timer, one sec. So Inky sent this one to me, it's called the Iron Bee, and at first glance, you can tell that it's made from quality material. Little magnets on the tripod that actually hold it in place so it doesn't like flop around. Moving up, you can see it actually has a couple of screw threads on the side so you can put little accessories. And at the top, you have an easy way to just connect it to the camera. But you press this button right here and you can actually swivel your camera any which way you need to. And at the top, you can easily adjust the angle that you want your camera so you can get the shot that you want. It is super easy to pair with your camera via Bluetooth and it works with all of these different cameras, not just Sony, but also Canon. And if you have an older camera that doesn't have Bluetooth, they actually give you this micro USB Bluetooth hub so you just plug it in and it immediately connects. And now for my favorite part that actually makes this thing so much better than the Sony remote. Oh no, we're out of time. Hold on. Okay, check this out. The remote actually comes out and you can use this as a remote. And this is really cool. It charges with USB-C and now you can keep your camera on your tripod or any tripod and you can just remotely control it with just this little remote. And this will work up to 10 meters or 11 yards. And if you wanted to do that with the Sony, you had to take this whole thing around and use this as a remote. And just looking at these side by side, you can see that the Iron Bee is a lot more compact and portable. And what I consider to be a better companion for the ZV-1 or the ZV-E10 or any other Sony cameras and Canon cameras. They have the same controls as the Sony remote. You can hit record, you can snap a photo. And what I like about the zoom mechanism is it's actually an up and down motion versus the Sony one, which are these finicky buttons. So this way you can actually kind of feel it out a little bit more. And it has a custom button, which you can actually set in the camera to what you want it to do. So for me, my custom button does the defocus for me. And at the moment of recording this, the price for the Iron Bee is $40 less than the Sony one. So if you're considering buying something like this, and maybe that's how you stumbled upon my video, I think that the Iron Bee is the absolute best choice. Okay, now time is up. Thanks for joining me for another 30 second Thursday. Inky, thank you so much for sending this to me. I don't even know what to do with this one now. I, I won't ever use it because this one is the better one. I have a lot of gadgets and gizmos to review and another cool one by Inky as well. So I can't wait to get to those. And hey, if you want some more behind the scenes content and live streams and giveaways, make sure you check out my memberships. We have a lot of fun there, a great community growing and uh, check it out. It's just uh, right down there. It's that join button. Also, if you want some more tech talk and creator insight, make sure you check out my podcast, the super popular tech is hard podcast. Uh, maybe super popular is an overreach, but uh, you know, we have a lot of fun there and that's why we do it. So check it out and I will get to some more stuff and see you guys on the next one. I'm so awkward at the end of these.